This is Mr. Otieno John from Kenya. Deliverance is going on for him. Same time he has bad dreams and financial failure. <laughs> You people started with the argument of the women issue. My name is John Otieno. Um, I'm from Kenya. Kenya. And uh, what man of God has said, I confirm it to be true. My wife is around and we always had that kind of conversation because of that insecurity. In fact, this is our last daughter, but she would use another kid. We have uh, the one that she follows. She would use her as a barrier between both of us. So it went for a long time. And I almost wanted to pack and leave. Because you made a mistake. What the man of God has said is true. My name is Dokas from Mombasa. John is my husband for 19 years. Lakini tangu ni tangu niolewe mwaka elfu mbili na moja. But since I got married in 2001. Nika pata vijana watatu. I got three boys. Alafu nipo pata vijana watatu. Ikakuwa sasa anasema kwamba mimi sipati watoto wasichana. When I got the three boys, he said he started complaining and said that I don't give birth to girls. Sasa atachukua mwanamke mwingine apate naye mtoto msichana. Sasa harakati ya ile kulalamika. And in, in that process, wakati wao nikalilia Mungu sana nikamwambia Mungu jaribu ku I cried to the Lord and told the Lord to help me in my situation. I had no parents and I had nowhere to go. So My husband will spend three days outside and not come back home. I told the Lord, you know what to do. So, siku ya kujifungua, and on the day of giving birth, yeye mwenye kanipeleka wakati nilikuwa kwa labor pain. He took me to the labor ward. Nilipo jifungua tu hivi endo alibeba mtoto mtu wa kwanza. He is the very first person who carried the baby after I had given birth. So, akaona kambiwa na manas huyu ni mtoto msichana. The nurse has told him that it was a baby girl. Aliruka kafurai sana, lakini, he jumped and he was very happy, but, I thought the problems had got finished at home. But I thought the problems had got finished at home. And different, and bringing and then I said, the Lord will change him one day. I used to cry a lot in the kitchen every time. I tell God, what is this? Uh -huh. I love my husband so much. But now he has tried to change. Since last week, I, I always praise him. We chat yeah. together, we sing together. I thank God for deliverance. Oh, Jesus. I used to drink. It is only one month ago when I started watching the videos. Something just came into me and I started behaving. I have no choice. I can't even go to the bar. I got saved by myself in the house when I was watching the video. Because I said, this is practical. This is the Jesus we are talking about. Practical. It's not the theory we people preach. I'm very sorry to confess this. I'm, I'm so much used to the theoretical part of Jesus, the theory which people preach. But when I watched this on YouTube, it was one evening it popped up on my Facebook account and I was looking at it how a lady from Kenya was delivered. And then I went into the YouTube, now I was watching. Then I saw a lady who came with some shoes opened, absolute poverty. She looked like a vagabond, actually. She looked like, in our language, in Swahili, is chokora. She was a maid servant of somebody, and she stole the cloth. After you prayed for her, and she got delivered, you told her, aircraft shall be her taxi. She went abroad, in Dubai, I think, and she worked for somebody who was flying all over. So when I watched that, I said, I want a practical Jesus. I don't want theories. I'm tired with theories. I want where Jesus is manufacturing. <laughs> practical. <laughs> and that is why I'm here, man of God. If this is true, let's go there. Yes. And face this man. Yes. I had to come with her. I told her, let's go to Kampala. We have no choice. We have to be in Kampala. <laughs> The difference is going on for Mr. Ochino John from Kenya. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's up? 
I pray for you to find a living church. Because you are still asking yourself. We are going to Kampala. Kampala. But if we don't go to prayer. In Kampala. Kampala. Where can we pray from here in Kenya? So this is your big problem. Man of God. Man of God, I can confirm the prophecy will be true. I was asking God, in this same land, this Kenya, are there no prophets? Are there no real men of God who can tell you practically? I did research on more on YouTube about Prophet Kakande, and I told myself, this is going to be my church. Whether I'm in Nairobi, I will look for money and fly to Kampala. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, I see you looking at a very big area for industry. Thank you, man of God. In fact, I told her, I want to be an industrialist. I told her, I'm going to Kampala because, prophet, mm. I am working with Asians and we are doing retreat for tires. Retreat for tires for the motorcycles. You know, that's a mass market product. Yes. So when I'm dealing with that mass market product, of course I'm an industrialist because I'm the one getting them to the field and I bring them to the factory. So I told God, when these Asians will leave, I will buy the machines, whether it is 600 million Kenya shillings, I will buy these machines and be manufacturing motorcycle tires in Kenya. I want to be an industrialist. In fact, yeah. I have come. Oh, man of God. Hey. Yeah. You have God. God, Jesus is your yeah. friend. Jesus is your friend. Yeah. I was not wrong. Yes, <laughs> I was not wrong. Your family once seated at the hillside. Very true man of God, I can confirm. I see the road going like this. Yes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You are right. Eh? Right man of God, you are right. You are a friend of Jesus. <laughs> then, until when you moved near the town. Yes. You know everything. You have seen it. You have seen it from the center. You come like this and then you get to our home. School next. Our home is here. There is a field here. I remember this Mr. Mondi. Yes. <laughs> That is my brother. Omondi or Lord. Omondi is my brother. That is why I'm saying you're a friend of Jesus now. <laughs> there are things you know that I can't see. I can't see you, you can see them. <laughs>